Testing, testing. <laughs> what is going on, y'all? It is your girl, Abiyala Akani, here with a new YouTube video. What is going on, y'all? I, I gotta just be like real with y'all. I'm been, I've been real inconsistent with my YouTube channel. And that's ultimately because I'm trying to figure out what the H-E double L hockey sticks I'm really wanting to do with my channel. Basically from the title, y'all can see that there's been some changes happening. One being that I recently relocated. I've been living in Seattle, Washington for over 25 years. And that has been my home. I've been living there for a very long time and have never really done a big move, although I have traveled and I recently relocated to good old Texas. I feel really excited about this move. However, it's also been very emblematic of transitions happening in my life in terms of this YouTube channel. I don't really have that clear of a direction for what the fuck I'm about to do with it, but you can expect to see a little bit more lighthearted content, some more vlogs, and all that good shit. And first things first, my ER Can Yoga Teacher Training for Cohort 4 is starting in a few weeks. And y'all already know I had my home yoga studio where I would film, and now that I've moved, I need to create that here. So we are gonna clear out one of the rooms here, and we're gonna turn that into our at-home practice space and filming studio. So we got a lot of stuff to clean out. And it's gonna take me some time, but we gonna do it together. Well, y'all gonna just watch me do it, basically. <laughs> and see the end results. I'm hoping that it will be really beautiful in there. And we will definitely get some plant life in there as well. So, let's go ahead and get started. All right, y'all. This is what we're working with. Do not judge the space. As you can see, we got a lot of work to do in here. But... We're gonna do it and get her done and transform this basically storage junk room into a beautiful yoga space and help my cousin tidy up some of this stuff as well. She's clean. She is officially clean. Still waiting for all my yoga supplies. Hey y'all, to come in spotless. I love it. Oh, now it's not as big a space as my old place, per se, but she does the job for now. Oh my God, y'all, I am so sweaty and so tired. That took a while, but we finished. I'm so thankful to be here. I'm so thankful to be here in this beautiful home. I'm so thankful to be supported by family in this way and continue to expand EA from this place of deep security and not 
even external security because I needed to have that established in order to make this big transition, but to have that internal stability to trust myself enough to make this leap. This has been a really big change for me, but to be honest, as soon as I cleaned up and cleared out my old apartment, I didn't even look back. I was so thankful for what that place brought me, for what Seattle brought me, how it held me, how it nurtured me. I just had so much gratitude and zero regret. And I feel so received in this new place and in this new home. And I'm just really excited. Obviously it's the new year, so I'm sure many of you are making different changes in your life. Maybe that looks like a big giant move or starting a new career or starting a new job and you're very nervous about doing so. My advice would be to first really make sure that you feel like you've kind of graduated in the space that you were in. I'm not the type of person to rush into things. I really make sure that I've graduated from the spaces that I'm in so that when I move into the next space, there is no regret and that space can really receive me because there's nothing lingering in the last place. So if you're wanting to really make a big move or a major transition, the first thing I would say is to really make sure that you've graduated from the space that you're in. The second thing that I would say is to trust yourself. Know that your internal security and stability creates the external. I really feel that so much so that if my external things change, I feel confident about the internal security and stability that I have to be able to recreate it or duplicate it in some other way. This is Maddie. We'll see if she comes in. Trust yourself. Your ability to create that security. Know that you can be validated in your ability to do that for yourself. I'm gonna wrap this video up. Lastly, if you've been following me for a while as a yoga student or you're a teacher looking to expand your knowledge in non-performative yoga, we are still accepting applications for my non-performative yoga 200 hour yoga teacher training, y'all, beginning on March 2nd. If you want to join us, click the link in the description box to apply. I'm gonna be accepting applications up until the end of this month, and then that's it, because the next one probably won't happen until March 2024. 2023, new things are popping, new things are coming. I'm excited to just share more of my personality with y'all and this big change, this big transition. Keep it wavy, continue to be well, and I'll see y'all very soon. Don't forget to follow your girl on the gram at yoga by Biala and at ia.well.